Introducing the new Porsche Cayman GTS. It costs a whisker less than 64 grand and it's powered, alleluia, not by a weirdly uncharismatic four-cylinder turbo engine, but by a full-blown four-litre flat six. The exact same four-litre flat six that propels the frankly awesome new Cayman GT4. As we'll discover, it doesn't have the same ultra-trick rose-jointed front suspension of the GT4, nor does it ride on such sticky Cup 2 tyres. But you're also about to discover that that doesn't appear to make a massive amount of difference. This then is what the new Cayman GTS is like to drive around a track. Note, the car you see here has just over five grand's worth of optional carbon ceramic brakes, plus Porsche's superb, but also optional again, sports seats. So I guess the key question with this new 718 GTS is how much of a GT4 does it feel like? Well, I've done quite a few laps of Estoril in it now, and I have to say, I'm really, not shocked, but very, very pleasantly surprised by just how much like a GT4 this thing feels. Until I drove this car this morning, I thought the GT4 was possibly the best value sports car that money could buy. I'm now beginning to think that this <laughs> might be the best sports car in terms of value because, all right, there are differences. The front end doesn't definitely not feel as sharp because it hasn't got the rose jointed bits from the GT3. The gearbox, the six speed manual gearbox, also doesn't feel just as, as edgy, as, as, as nice as the GT4s because the shift is a little bit longer. There's almost no movement at all required to change gear in the GT4, whereas, I mean, there isn't much movement to do that, but there's still, there's still a bit more. It still feels like there's a little bit more rubber in the system. And the rear suspension is not as trick, not as stiff as the GT4s. And this thing comes as standard on regular P0s, not Cup 2s which makes a huge difference. But the main thing is, the motor in the GTS is exactly the same as the motor in the GT4. Except for one thing, the maximum revs are 200 less. How much does that really matter? Not a lot because apart from that, it's exactly the same engine. Hence the reason it's got exactly the same amount of torque, 420 newton meters. And so it makes exactly the same lovely, lovely noise as the GT4. I'm following this bloke and he's going quite fast, but that's cool, he's in a Carrera S. And I think the 718 GTS is actually quicker than the Carrera S. But that is how quick the GTS is. Even though the GTS chassis is quite different from a GT4's in technical terms, on the track, just as we discovered with the Boxster GTS on the road, you really would be hard pushed to spot the difference. And just as with the Boxster, you get Porsche's PASM and Sports Chrono Packs as standard in the Cayman GTS, with the same excellent three-stage switchable drive program with normal, sport and sport plus modes to choose from. So no, it doesn't, it doesn't feel just as sharp as a GT4 in terms of its chassis. Steering, I think, feels pretty similar because it is identical. There's obviously a difference in steering response purely due to the front suspension setup. But overall, this thing's magnificent, it really is. It feels so quick in a straight line as well. It's actually, Porsche have just admitted to me, a fraction lighter than the GT4, because it hasn't got the wing, it hasn't got the bigger brakes. These are, these are not S brakes, these are GTS brakes, and then you get GT4 brakes. 
I don't care, whatever it does, this thing stops beautifully. I also think it just looks lovely. It doesn't look as as mean and angry, as kind of, or racer-ish as the GT4. But I don't know, it's a road car, remember? I'm not sure I want a big wing on the back of my road car. And be it no doubt, this thing would be quite a lot easier to live with on the road than the GT4. Because it, it is that just that little bit softer. Dynamically, it's the front end that you notice more, most, I think, struggling against the GT4, but... Wow. They just keep doing it, of course, don't they? Keep turning out stuff that's notably better than anything else in, the, in its class. And I think they've done it again with this, the GTS. There's one other big difference between this and the GT4. That's the small matter of £11,000. You've got to be pretty committed to the cause to spend an extra 11 grand on a GT4. Because I'm, I don't know, without actually doing a back-to-back -back comparison, I'm not sure there's that much of a difference, apart from the price. Another, another top vehicle from Porsche. Click on the video windows to watch a track test of the Cayman GT4 or a first drive of the new Boxster GTS. Click on the play icon to watch our latest video or on our logo to subscribe. And cheers for watching.